G'day. This video is to replace the last one which was not a very good video about the air chuck and people didn't like it much. There was more turning and not enough information about the air chuck. Hopefully this fixes that problem. Let's get on with it. It's just a general shot of the lathe. You can see right down the bottom there's the buttons that operate the chuck. It's a button being pushed to release. The air turns the chuck uh, to open and the chuck is actually operated by springs. There are the relays that uh, those buttons operate. Those relays are fed by this regulator. This is the switching device that the air goes to from the relays. That's the back of the chuck showing the rotary union that allows the chuck to turn and the airline to stay still. These are the markings on the front face of the chuck. Stamping's not as good as it might be, but uh, it's the only thing about this chuck that's not quite right. Goes to 5,000 RPM. Pretty amazing. Those concentric rings you see are to help you line up the chuck jaws. Made by Leader Chucks in England. And I've got to say, it's a very nice chuck. You see the teeth there that engage the jaws and hold them in place. There's the T-slot that locks the things in place. There's another shot of the teeth that hold the jaws in place. There's the teeth on the jaws. There's a set of jaws with them on different angles. That's an A1 spindle nose, I think. Maybe A2, I'm not sure. But you can only buy five inch chucks that suit that, so we have to use a four inch chuck with a back plate. Two BA screws hold the chuck in place. I hope I never lose one. Oh, I need new glasses, look at that. Now even with those concentric lines around the uh, chuck face, it's not always easy to line it up as you might like. When I went to set this up, I found I was missing a fitting. As you can see, there's a big space there. I had to go and buy a new fitting. There it is, the thing lined up going down the middle of the spindle. That's the whole assembly with the lines all tightened up. Now we'll just do a little bit of turning. That's the chuck closing. Just bring the tool up and face this part off and turn a little bit of it. So you can actually see that the thing is holding while turning's happening. And once it stops, you can open the chuck again. Chuck won't open while the spindle's turning. We have a safeguard that Herc has built into it. I've only ever used this manually, but you can actually tell the program to turn the chuck on and off, but I've never used it that way. I like to be able to feel what's happening and close it. All right, that's it. I hope this is a better presentation than the last one. Thank you for watching.